Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to just talk about something I noticed in Miss Marvel. I think it's fair to say that everyone enjoys a good little Easter egg hunt here and there, right? And this show really didn't shy away from that, whether it was um, their little nod to the X-Men, um, them, them utilizing the same weapon that we saw in the Incredible Hulk, the sound weapon. Uh, could be other, could be tons of other things like, you know, her little TikTok scene, um, or even, you know, Miss Marvel sitting down on the lamppost. They throw back to um, little things here and there. Now, this one scene in particular, oh, of course, the last one, uh, Captain Marvel appearing at the end of the post credit. This one scene in particular that I'm talking about is actually something that I didn't necessarily see. It's something more along the lines of what I heard. So while I was watching the episode, I was laying down and I'm watching the episode this time, I did something a little different. My volume was turned up. I didn't hear it the first time that I saw that I saw this uh, episode six, but this time, when the volume was turned up, I heard it. This scene in particular is what I'm talking about. So let's play this. I need to tell you something. Okay. Uh, so I went back and looked at your genetic <clears throat> makeup again. Sure now, you know you can call me when you're bored. No, no, no. Amir, Amir kept asking if he might have powers too, and. I think we might have had it wrong the first time around. What do you mean? So, we know why you have access to the Noor and how you can wield it, but when I compared you to the rest of your family, something still seemed off. Okay. Kamala, there's something different in your genes. Like, like a mutation. She accepts it, they move on. Now, for anyone that grew up in the 90s, we all already know what that is. Everyone in the 90s should know what that is, especially if you're familiar with uh, Saturday morning cartoons, then you would know that that is a theme song for the X-Men animated series, the one that appeared in the 90s. Don't believe me? Let's check it out, shall we? There you go. All of us grew up listening to this theme song. We didn't have the luxury of just being able to fast forward past this. So when you woke up in the morning, or, you know, at whatever point that you were watching this, right, that it was on television, you listened to the entire theme song because you can't skip through it. And you still, why would you want to skip through this? This theme song was amazing. Far and none, one of the best ever. So that is, I believe... I believe that was a, a well done Easter egg. All right. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you hear this? And it, did anything else stand out to you that maybe, you know, other guys have mentioned or uh, other guys missed or whatnot? Did you notice anything? Maybe a writing on the wall or something along those lines? I think this is the perfect show to kind of just go hunting. You never know what it might lead to. And in this case, we know the X-Men are coming. That's all I got for now, guys. I'll see you later.